Hello friends, my name is Ashwag Ahmed. I'm a trainer with ICIC Foundation and today under the life skills we are going to learn about tone. The objective behind the learning is recognizing an appropriate tone which actually help you to communicate effectively. So before starting the tone, let's see some example. I have a sentence with me. I didn't say she stole the money. If I say same sentence like this, I didn't say she stole the money. That means I didn't say that she stole the money. Maybe someone else stole the money, but money got stolen. If the same sentence I say like this, I didn't say she stole the money. That means she is having money, but I'm not saying that she stole. Maybe she earned from somewhere or maybe she borrowed from someone. She is having money, but I'm not saying that she stole. So here you see words are same, sentences are same. But just emphasizing the particular word can change your entire meaning of your sentences. Now, next example, I assure you the issue will be resolved in next six hours. If I say same sentence like this, I assure you the issue will be resolved in next six hours. So when I emphasize assure, that means the confidence from me to transfer to my listener. And he got really assured that his work will be done in next six hours. Uh, our next example is, it shows the emotion. Like we have sentence, I would really want you to improve on your communication skills. If I say same sentence like this, I would really want you to improve on your communication skills. That shows my anger. But I say same sentence like this, I would really want you to improve on your communication skills. That shows my concern towards my listener. So here, as we know, we all are the human beings. So we don't want to talk with, like talk to robot or with machines. We are human, we are having some emotions, we, have, we are having some feelings. So please try to add those feelings and emotions in your conversation. Now, let's see some components of voice and tone. The first is volume control. If you're speaking in very high volume, that means you're shouting on someone. And you're speaking in very low volume, means you are scared with someone. So whenever you're talking, your volume must be medium so that one can take interest to talk with you and you exactly transfer what you want to say. Our next component is pace, rate or speed of speech. If you run with your words, then maybe listener, your listener drops some words or they misunderstood you. Or if you speak very slow, then possible is possibilities are there listener can get bored or they run away. So whenever you're talking, your speed must be medium or mild so that one can take interest to talking with you. Our next component is pitch or intensity. As we just seen in the previous example, when pitch is high, that means you are angry. And if your pitch is very low, that means you are quite submissive. So your pitch must be medium so one can understand exactly what you convey. Now, next and last is modulation. Whenever you are talking to someone, if you are talking in a flat, flat tone, then it sounds very monotonous. But if you are talking with modulation with some ups and downs that actually generate the interest in your words. For example, if you hear a noise in your tone in, uh, in radio and if it is like this, then maybe it's irritate you. But if sound is like that, ting, tong, ting, tong, ting, tong, ting, tong, then it's quite soothing for your ears. So whenever you're talking with someone, please take care of all these components of tone. Now, do you remember, whenever you're talking, you take care of your volume, pace, pitch, and modulation. And also remember, in the selection of words, it must be powerful, impactful, and positive. So now we have assignment for you. You have to record a one minute voice of yours. You can choose on any topic, any topic you can say, but just take care of selection of your words and take care of your tone. So please record it and share with us. Keep learning. Thank you.